saw your period blood which happens to be second for this lady to the last day before your next period why am i making this video why am i starting with how to calculate your menstrual cycle most women don't even know how to calculate their menstrual cycle they confuse their menstrual cycle for their period days the days they are seeing their period blood there are two different things guys okay your menstrual cycle is the first day of your period to the last day before your next period the length varies for different women for some women it's 28 days which is the average but not every woman gets 28 days and not every woman's Menstrual cycle is regular. Cycle length ranges from 21 days to 35 days. And this video is going to be about how to calculate your menstrual cycle. We'll be using this June 2023 calendar for that. Menstrual cycle length is the first day of your period to the last day before your next period. It's not from the first day of your period to the first day of another period. No, that is wrong. Is from the first day of your period to the last day before your next period. The first day of the next period is day one of another menstrual cycle. So you don't count that. We're going to be using Mrs. A's cycle as an example. Mrs. A got her period for the month of June on the second. Okay, it can be any day. Don't get me wrong. It can start any day. You can get your period on seventh. It can be 14th, it can be 22nd, it can be 27th, any day. But for the purpose of this lecture, we are going to be using second as an example, okay? So let's take for instance, Mrs. A got her period for the month of June on second. They started on second. I don't mean spotting. When I say period, I don't mean spotting. I mean the main flow. It started on second. So this is second, right? It started on second but the next time she got her period was on the 26th she got her next period on the 26th so how do we calculate this woman's cycle i said it's going to be from the first day you saw your period blood which happens to be the second for this lady to the last day before your next period this is the next period right so you start counting from here to here 25th you don't add this one this is the one of another cycle so you don't add it you start counting from the second to the last day before the next period so let's count together know how many days cycle this woman have her cycle starts from the second second makes it the one the one of the menstrual cycle now let's count this is the one this is the two this is the three the four the five the six the seven the the 14 the 15 the 16 the 17 the 18 the 19 day 20 21 22 23 24 you stop counting here don't add the day of you started seeing your next period please don't add it that's one common mistake i see people make when trying to calculate their cycle so you start counting from the first day you saw your period blood to the last day before your next period with what we've counted how many days cycle does this woman have her cycle length is 24 days 24 days now you're going to need to repeat this process the day you go your next period makes it the one of another cycle do you get like the one of another cycle this day two day three day four day five and so on you keep counting again till you get your next period again so a day before that next period you stop counting so if you keep counting 
for a period of six months or six cycles and you're getting 24 days that means your cycle is regular and your menstrual cycle length is 24 days but then if you keep counting and maybe this month you're getting 24 next month you get 25 another month you get 27 another month you get 28 another month you get 24 if you're getting different menstrual cycle length there's no need to panic okay it only means your cycle is irregular and how you're going to calculate your ovulation days your safe days your fertile days and all of that is going to different from how a person with regular cycle calculate theirs when it might actually be a problem is when the difference is too long let's say this month you're getting 24 days cycle and next month you're getting 35 days cycle the length is too much okay and it might be a, an issue so for you to understand this better you need to get your paper your pen your calendar close to you and do this together with me we need to do it together calculate it together so you get it if you're confused in any way all you have to do is pause the video go back and watch it again so you get everything with this we've come to the end of this video if you have any question leave a comment in the comment section and i'm going to be there to reply you if you want me to help you to calculate yours just let me know in the comments and i will help you calculate yours also in our next video we're going to be discussing how to calculate your relation days your fertile days your safe days if you found this video informative give it a huge thumbs up and share it to your friends to your family anybody you feel that needs to know how to calculate this as well just forward it to them don't forget to hit the subscribe button see that red button down below just click on it and join my little family so that's it for today see you in my next one bye